Have you guys ever been to Portland, Oregon before? Well, I gotta tell you, uh, about five or six years ago, I was there and I was playing, and I was having uh, a, a fancy lunch in a fancy restaurant with a bunch of fa fancy fucking people. And as I'm eating my lunch, the whole front of this place, this place I was eating was all windows. And I see this girl, about 25 years old, I guess, and she keeps going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Very manic, very manic, you know, and I watched her do it and her face was all dirty and her hair was matted together. And so finally I just excused myself from the fancy people I was with. And I walked outside and I go, hey, 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 calm down. It, it, what, what's going on here? And she goes, uh, I, I, I want to go home. And I go, well, let's go buy a bus ticket and I'll send you home. And she went, well, I can't go home. And I go, why? She goes, because they don't want me there. And I thought, wow, I'm glad this is not one of my kids. <laughs> Uh, or, I'm glad it wasn't me when I was her age. And uh, so I talked to her for a little bit and I said, look, okay, you know, she didn't have any fucking shoes on me. It was fucking rainy and cold and feet were filthy, dirty. And I said, how about if I just give you some money then? And, and, and she goes, do I gotta have sex for it? <laughs> and I said, no, you don't have to have sex. Here, and I gave her some money, and as soon as she grabbed the money out of my hand, she took off running. And she looked over me, she goes, thank you, whoever you are, now I don't have to suck some guy's dick tonight. <laughs> and I thought, wow. So, as time, you know, that was like five or six years ago, and uh, I just played in Portland a couple nights ago. It's not any better. Anyway. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't see that girl, and I, but, you know, over the last five or six years, I wondered, I wonder what happened to that kid. Did she ever make it home, or is she still alive, or, you know, whatever happened to her? So I wrote this song for her, and it's called The Eyes of Portland. As I saw through the eyes of Portland one day, there were so many homeless who had gone astray. They slip on the corners during the day, as not to be harmed when the sun went away. There were old ones and young ones and white ones and black. They were all shapes and sizes with rags on their backs. So many people mixed up in the stew with no place to go and nothing to do. All of these homeless, where do they come from? In this land of plenty, where nothing gets done to help those that are empty and unable to run. The tears and prayers won't help the homeless. Some are mentally ill, some are higher than guides, selling their bodies as day turns to night. Where are their loved ones? Does anyone care to be lost and alone in the middle of nowhere? All of these homeless, where do they come from? This land of plenty, where nothing gets done to help those that are empty and unable to run. The tears and prayers won't help the homeless.
What will it take for this country to see? For the grace of God go they, and not you and me. The fallen and forgotten who are down on the knees. Living in the gutters in the land of the free. To run, your tears and prayers won't help the homeless. Our tears and prayers won't help the homeless.